good morning. Um, I figured we'd do like a little morning vlog this morning um, and share. I was supposed to, wasn't supposed to, but Donna, one of my friends here on YouTube, I don't like the word subscriber. I don't know. I just, it doesn't feel right. So my viewer, my friends here on YouTube, she's always in my comments. So um, on one of my recent videos, I shared a little bit of my Bible study in the morning or the intro, whatever. And she asked me what I was doing. I told her I would share. And then I also had another friend, Kim. She's got a channel. Her name is, her channel is Kim's Farmhouse Life. She actually asked me on Instagram, um, you know, what I do for Bible. And I told her on Instagram, but you know, it's just easier to see stuff sometimes. So I figured I would share everything. Now, I don't do all of this every single day. I should, and it's something I am working on. I'm actually like really trying to hyper-focus and get better with my time management. Ugh, that's a text. There's a guy bringing some gravel. So I have to put on clothes because John's not here and I don't wanna go out looking like this. So let me go get dressed and then we will come back and we will go over this. Okay, so. I just threw on some clothes, made sure my hair didn't look too bad, um, tried to not look like a troll. I don't know, I just don't like looking as, ugh, you know, when it's people that I don't actually know, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. It has a lot to do with John owning his own business and whatnot. But anyways, um, just threw on some clothes, and now we're going to go over what I'm currently doing for Bible study. Now, like I said, some of the stuff I don't do every day. Um, I need to get to the point of where I do do it every day, but sometimes I just, I don't. Um, I like to have excuses, like I don't have time or whatever, but I just, I don't think about it as much as I should. Um, but anyways, with that being said, currently what I started doing at the beginning of this month, um, was a daily scripture writing. I follow a little plan. I, um, I find it on Pinterest. I was going to put it up here, but I just don't know about stuff like that because it's not my image, but a daily scripture plan. My sister-in-law asked me if I wanted to do that with her. I'd actually been wanting to do it because Kat over at Mama Kat's home, she does it all the time. She always posts it on Instagram. Um, she puts hers into her planner, which I really like, but my planner is not, it don't have the right layout to do that. So I have this, which is actually an old planner binder. It's one of the Agenda 52s or something from Hobby Lobby. Um, I just cut paper down and then I did buy this. This was $20 with 40% off, whatever that is. Um, so I just cut my paper down to put into my notebook. I don't wanna get too personal because it's there's different stuff in here. But um, yeah, there we go, plain. Just make it fit. And I've got multiple of these, I think three. So this, buying it for this made sense because um, I like to reuse these. But anyways, I just go through and I do my daily, can you read it from back there? I do my daily scripture writing and then sometimes there's just certain things, certain verses that really stick out to me. So I will take and kind of write them on the edge here. And then the pink post-it notes are um, prayer requests and just special stuff that I prayed about that day. Just little things. Um, I'm a very visual person. so. This is my daily scripture writing. Um, this is also where I have a Francis's letter at because it just, I don't know, that's just where I thought it belonged. So this is my daily writing notebook for my Bible. Um, and then another thing that I do, not every day, but a lot of times is this life, the devotional that gives lives and saves lives. Um, I don't know why I read that entire thing, but it's just like, it has a verse and like motivational type stuff for every single day. I really like this. Um, I bought myself and my sister-in-law one of these two years ago now, I think, for Christmas. And it just, I really like it. So, um, like I said, this is not something I do every day. But I need to be more intentional with it. Um, and then... As far as Bible reading goes, currently, with that same sister-in-law, um, I am doing a read through John, and it is, what I was saying, but anyway, she found it on Instagram, she sent it to me, um, it's where you re read only a certain amount of passages every day, 
But anyways, that is what I'm doing currently. And yeah, so I do that. Um, there's also apps like the Holy Bible app. It has um, Bible studies on it. There's ranging from like three to 40 days. I don't know. Um, there's actually even one to read the whole Bible through a year. Um, so there's all kinds of app, all kinds of studies on there. So sometimes if I'm like feeling depressed or sad or there's certain things in my life that I want to try to work on, like motherhood, um, just wife, anything like that, there's all kinds of studies on there. So you can go on there and you can search and you can find certain studies um, to do with whatever you're dealing with or need help with. There's also an app called First Five, which I really like as well. Um, I have it on my iPad. I, I don't have it on my phone, but it is a phone app as well. Um, it's supposed to be like the first five minutes that you just, you devote to God. Again, I'm not intentional with that. I need to become more intentional, but we're slowly getting there. Not as quick as we need to be, but we're slowly getting there. Now, onto my Bibles. Um, this is something that some people might not agree with simply because I know this. I was raised in a family where, well, I guess you could say a religion. I don't know. Of where it had to be King James Version. If it was not King James, it just, it was not acceptable. It was not allowed. And, um, yeah. So, I have grown away from that. Did I break something? No, it's fine. Um, and my current Bible I have right here is the NIV. And I just, I don't know. I have multiple translations. I have the NIV here. And I do have a King James. This was my very first Bible that I got. The one that they gave me at the church when I got saved. Um, it says my maiden name because I wasn't married yet when I got saved. Um, so, yeah. Along with King James Version Bibles, we also was raised to believe and to feel that a Bible was sacred and you took care of that Bible. You didn't, you, you was allowed to highlight, but that's as far as it went. Like you did not destruct the Bible. Um, but as I have grown, I have found a different way to Bible journal and to spend time with God and it is considered Bible wrecking. That is like the main term of it. And so what you do is you would take a Bible and now I'm not good at it. There's some days I can sit and really put a lot of time and effort into it. But a lot of times it's, I have transitioned from sitting and putting a lot of time and effort into a page into um, letting it be just what's on my heart and not really putting the thought into perfectionism and just doing it. So this is one in my Bible that I have now. Anyways, this is my main study Bible right now. Um, I've not really done much in this. So this is just a way that I spend time with God and I devote myself to the word is I will take something and if it means something to me, I will, um, so I write it down or I will just doodle on my Bible in my Bible, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. This is the one I've been working on lately. Again, I've not been as much into, um, like, wrecking my Bible. That's the term that they use. This is another Bible. I don't think I have wrecked this at all, but I did paint the cover. It says, even in the valleys, God's faithful always. Um, this is the God's Holy, Holy Word Bible. The N... -na 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 -na. What translation is this? I saw it earlier when I was looking at it. This is the New Living Translation. Um, this one I have not written in at all. I just, I haven't yet. Um, I don't feel this one's done, if that makes any sense at all. But when I feel this Bible's done, I will probably move to this one. Um, this is the Bible that I had been taking, or that I do take to church. It's not written in at all. Um, not highlighted, anything. Oh yeah, it is. It's highlighted. But this is the first one that I ever created, so it's little, you know, not the best. But still, I don't know. I like it. And then, um... This one has the most in it. This is the first one I done. There's a special purpose behind this one. 
hopefully the purpose, the secret, anyways, that of why I'm doing this, they're not seeing this. That's all I can say. But I, this has a purpose. Um, this is the Bible that I got when I got saved. And this one has a lot in it. This is the one that I've got the most done in. I mean, the tabs are like handmade in it. There he is. I'll be back. not my thing I feel so awkward he's nice though that helps um, but anyways what was I saying do we remember we don't did we cover the Bible wrecking thing yeah growing up it was only King James Version you can't touch your Bible like I mean you could obviously but highlight it that was it you didn't mess with the Word of God I guess that's what you could say um, this is the first Bible that I ever used to wreck. So it has very special meaning to me. It also has a very special purpose in life. That's what I should have said a while ago. It has a very special purpose in life. Um, I don't feel it is to that point yet when it's ready to fill its purpose, shall we say. But um, yeah, this is the first one that I started wrecking and it, I don't want to say it changed me, but it changed me. To be able to take this Bible and do what I wanted to with it, and in my opinion, it is honoring God and worshiping God when I do it. It really, I don't know, it changed the way I looked at things. Um, I also realized that, and I don't mean this in any way if you're this type of person, you know, everybody's convictions are different and I completely understand that and I support whatever your heart tells you um lord that made me lose what I was saying oh but whenever I stopped worshiping this book when I stopped worshiping this book and I put my focus back where it was supposed to be of worshiping God no matter how that meant for me um yeah, I just feel so much freer and lighter and better doing my Bible studies because it's not so, it's not so vanilla. It's not so bland that vanilla is good though. I mean, it's one of my favorites, but it's not the same for me anymore. Um, so it's changed the way that I view my Bible studies. Now I mess up in my Bibles a lot and it really irritates me. Um, it's one of those things that I can't hardly stand to do, but in reality, it's just like life, right? You mess up in everything. So you just got to keep going and you will learn from your mistakes and beauty will come of it. Does that mean you'll stop making mistakes? Definitely not. This one, um, yeah, there's mistakes in this one. I guarantee there's mistakes in this one. But maybe looking back at it, it's not going to seem the same. It's not going to seem like mistakes that it used to look like. I mean, you see that? You see all that color? Brings me happiness. Um, but when I first done it, started, this is some of the stuff that I done. Um, because I didn't really, I still wasn't that comfortable tearing up my Bible. And I'm not tearing it up. I'm not like ripping it to shreds and just, you know not respecting it but i am i am honoring god and i am studying his word by doing this and like i said i know some people don't get it i know um they don't approve of this but this is something that i have done and it has definitely just brought me peace and it helps me um i'm a hands-on person so being able to dive into my bible and get dirty and just you know it's, it's, it works for me. So if you're not opposed to it, I definitely suggest that you get you some markers, crayons, crayons are good. Um, you have to be careful and kind of play around with what you do use because it will bleed through. Like this page, I'm rambling because I don't, I didn't come on here with like a list to go over and that's how my mind usually does best. But on this page, um, 
You can't read all of it, obviously, because I've got the number stickers on it, and they're thick, if you can see that. So, no, it messes with the dimensions of the book or whatever. Um, but anyways, this blue one, it says, So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And so that is the verse that spoke to me on this page. So the entire page is now about this verse, if that makes sense. Um, so that was, I don't think that was one of my first ones. This one was my first one that I really went all in on. All in. Um, and you can't read nothing on it. It's one of the first ones. Did I already say that? I'm going to say it again. It's one of the first ones I just dove all in on. Looks like it's falling apart. Like it's trying to. The cover's trying to come off. I've had this Bible a long time. I got saved in May of 2004. So, this Bible is pretty old. Um, and then, this one I don't want to share, but we'll do this. It has a prayer on it for its purpose. I know I'm being vague, but there's a reason for that. Um, if I ever get it complete, which I know I will, but if I ever give it to complete and give it to its purpose, then I I will, you know, I wouldn't care to share. But at this point, it's not there yet. And um, just in case people find me before we get to that point, I'd rather it not spoil the surprise. So... Um, but yeah, this one has, it also has little things that the kids, this isn't one of them, but I'm just flipping through and showing random pages that I've done in it. Um, the kids have also doodled onto paper, not necessarily in the Bible. If I can find one. Oh, here's one. This is by Lily Ann Winning. They've both done this one. Wendy, Wendy's handprint. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I can't remember her name. She thinks she has a YouTube channel, but I found her on Instagram. Um, there is a a channel, a page anyway. She was had just got pregnant, I think, um, but she was pregnant anyways, and she was making a a Bible for her baby. That's what she was doing. Um, so, she was doodling in it, writing prayers to him, putting um, little notes in there to him. And for some reason, it really got on my heart to do this for a special someone. Um, I had been praying for these people for a while. I still am. But, yeah, something just told me to do this for them. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, now, I'm not... I'm not 100% how they will feel about it, to be honest, because they are the people that, um, you know, they think that the Bible should be respected, and I do respect the Bible, I'm not saying I don't, but it should be respected and, you know, just not defaced or, you know, stuff like this. But it's been put on my heart to do it, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't feel it's done yet, like I said, whenever I feel it's done, I will give it to them. It was actually meant to be a Christmas present a couple of years ago. Um, but I just, when it come time, I just didn't feel it was done. I felt it needed more time. So, that's what we're doing. Hope, probably by the time it's done, it won't be laying like this. It's already kind of janky. But, um, I couldn't find the one I wanted to share with you. But this is one of the first ones i done. It's terrible. That's one thing that you have to do is, um... You have to not be afraid of messing up. One of the things that really helps me is knowing that nobody's going to see it. Like, if I want to show people, I can show people. But if I don't, then it's it's between me and God. So, people don't have to see it. So, the little mistakes that you make, like your, your girl's head being too small, nobody's going to see that unless you choose to show them. I just make sure that I don't put pressure on myself. And I make sure that I keep my focus where it belongs. And, yeah, I really enjoy this. I've not got this in-depth into it in a pretty good while. I need to get back into it because I need to finish this and give it to its home where it belongs. I have done Bible studies 
um, or is one that I completed. I done this one with a friend. Um, I really liked this one. It is Becoming a Woman God Wants You to Be, a 90-day guide to living the Proverbs 31 life. I completed this one. And then one year, I done this. I think it was, was it last year? Year before last? Year before last. And I completed this, A Woman's Guide to Reading the Bible in a Year. I also do Lisa Turker books. Is that how you say your name? Turkist? I'm sure that you know who I'm talking about. But I have quite a few of the books like this. My sister-in-law, I will buy some, she'll buy some, and then we just interchange them. Um, but yeah, I'm very random when it comes to my Bible studies. All right, so um, since I took forever to tell you about my Bible study and there's the mailman and everything that I've been doing and the little flip through. I didn't expect to do the flip through, but you know, sometimes you just wing it. Um, we're going to go down and get our first workout in. I have to do an indoor workout and an outdoor workout. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get the indoor workout done because I know no one will want to do the outdoor Work out with me, which is just what I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That f***ing hurts a little bit. That bothers us a little bit. It's a hard truth to accept truth. You are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to you trust into us and we will help you through cause we only want what's best what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us, and we will help you through, cause we only want what's best. What is best for you? Alright, so it is super windy out here. I hope it's not picking it up. It probably is. Um, but, oh, I've got to start my watch. So, 45 minute walk. We're going to do it. It feels really good out here. I think it's like 67 degrees or something. Is it still winter? Yeah, it's still winter feels really good the ground is pretty yucky it's actually dried up a lot though um, yeah the driveway remember a couple months ago we got it fixed that is from the concrete trucks and just everybody that's been going in and out of our drive and heavy machines that's the it's all right hey there's somebody at the church not here there's a church at the end of our road and if um if there's people down there definitely if there's like a funeral or something to do with that like digging a grave or something because there is a cemetery we don't walk um it just seems disrespectful to me definitely it's a funeral but anytime there's a lot of people down there plus i'm socially awkward so there's that but yeah we're out getting our second workout in well it's his first but um we ate some lunch which i just ate leftovers so nothing extra fancy or worth sharing and then I fixed, worked on Wendy's cup, which you saw. Um, so yeah, we're just 
out enjoying our walk. I don't know if he'll stick with me the whole time. He did yesterday. But, yeah, it's too loud. Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you For you What is best for you enjoyed just sitting and chatting with me pretty much that's what we did today um yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed until next time bye guys